Hey guys, Balkan Arctic here. Now, recently I have been seeing more and more of these images of this really elegant, uh, minimalistic stair railings. Uh, now, is this something that's safe? I, I don't think so. Uh, is it up to code? <laughs> Definitely not. Uh, is it is the aesthetic and the elegance worth the potential hip fracture? I would say definitely yes. And because of that, I'm going to be showing you how to model this type of railing inside of Revit. I'm actually going to be showing you two railing types uh, and how to model them in Revit. Now, before we jump into Revit, I would just like to take a moment to ask you to check out my website, BalkanArctic.com. I'm going to link it up just below this video in the description and then also up in the uh, cards above. Now, on my website, I have all of my Revit courses. I have over 130 hours of content and I'm adding more each month. Uh, and, and I have topics that cover uh, things that uh, beginners, intermediate, as well as advanced level users need to know. So there is something there for everybody. Uh, also there, you can find some of my ready-to-go customized Revit templates. You can find uh, some really high quality, extremely realistic Revit families. And we also have a plugin which might interest you as well. Okay, so now without any further ado, let's jump straight into Revit. And as you can see here, we are in Revit and I already have two stairs. So we have this kind of uh, steel, uh, kind of folded steel stair. And then here I have a stair that has two runs and I'm just going to be showing you how to create this minimalistic elegant stair, uh, elegant railing for both of them. So what I'll do now is I'm simply going to go here into level one floor plan and then let's go here to the work plane and go to reference plane. And I'm just going to place one reference plane here just next to this stair and let's then hit the escape key a couple of times and then let's name this so this will be railing one okay uh, for this one here again I'm just going to go to reference plane and just place one here let's see so you can try to find the middle which can be a bit difficult okay so let's place this reference plane here and let's call this one railing do. Okay, so now let's first start with the minimalistic one or with a with a one run. So not a two run, but the one run stair. Uh, they're both minimalistic. Okay, so let's go here. Uh, this is from the east. So this should be the east elevation. It's not. Oh, sorry, west elevation. Okay, I messed that up. Okay, so anyways, uh, you want to go here to the elevation view or a section view. Uh, then what you want to do is go here to component, expand the drop menu and go to model in place. Uh, then you want to set this as railings. So here we go, railing one, perfect. Okay, so uh, this will be modeled as a sweep. Uh, so you just click here on sweep, you go to set work plane and then you set it to railing one, which we've set up next to this uh, stair. Click okay and then go to, oops, make sure to go to sketch path. Now it's going to take you here to place lines and if you place lines, it's not going to work. You wanna go here to sketch path and now you can create your path. So for the path, uh, you wanna come in here to kind of the corner of the top step and then go to the corner of the bottom one, okay? And then you just wanna take it kind of at that angle and move it up. So how far up? I don't know, I like to measure like this. So usually kind of from the step, it should be at least 900 millimeters just to keep it safe safe <laughs> okay so yeah it's I guess it's safe who cares okay so now uh, let's go here and let's make sure to extend this so all the way up and then here it should kind of go above this so something yeah that's eh, that's okay uh, and then you come fr from here down to here and then up to here so something like this you want this sort of a triangle appearing here okay so once we have this in place uh, then you want to go here to fillet arc you click on that uh, you go here to radius set it to 100 millimeters and then click click and click click okay and click click and now we have filleted this whole thing uh, now we can go to the 3d view this is what we have looks really nice you hit finish and then you go to edit profile and you come in here to the little surface you go to circle and you make it a well, let's go with 20 millimeters for the diameter hit finish finish again and it looks like this 
so it's really cool. Now it's still kind of floating in the air, so what you want to do is just go down to your uh, east, uh, sorry, west elevation. I don't need this. Okay, so you just come in here. You go to create extrusion. It's on the same work plane, so yeah, railings one. And then you can kind of follow the floor here, and then you can go, I don't know, like this. So for the inside part, yeah, I think it can go like that. Okay, hit the escape key a few times, uh, trim and extend to corner. Now don't worry about these weird edges, that's okay, we're going to fix that. And then you set the extrusion end at 10, and the extrusion start at minus 10, so when you hit finish, and go to the 3D view, it's going to look like this, so it's going to be exactly in the center. Actually, it may be a bit too thick, so let's go here with 6 and minus 6, so it's going to be 12 in total, and it looks much better. And now, finally, to connect it, you go to Join Geometry, you join it like that, hit the Escape key a few times, and it looks beautiful. So it's elegant, it's simple, it's beautiful, and it's definitely not safe. Okay, hit finish, and we have our railing one. Then let's go and come to railing two. So for this, I have already placed a section running through the stair, so I'm just going to open that up. And you wanna have a view that looks kinda like this. Okay, so once you're here, uh, also you might wanna set this to wireframe so you can see both runs, okay? And uh, then you go to architecture, component, drop, to model in place. And again, this will be your railings for the category, railings two, perfectly fine, click OK. And then <clears throat> you wanna go again to the sweep, click on the sweep, set the work plane. In this case, it's going to be railing two because it's the, 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 it's the railing two reference plane. Click OK and go again to, oops, go again. So it's, again, it's trying to trick us. It wants us to go to place lines. No, we wanna go to sketch path. Okay, here you go to the line, and then you can kind of follow this line, so you can just go down like that, uh, and then you can move it up like so, and then you can measure. So from the step up, uh, I would go a little bit further up like this. Let's see. Okay, that's good. Okay, so once we have this one in place, uh, then you want to go to... Oh, let's do this. So I'm just going to measure from here to here. So that's 713. So let's go to pick lines, 713. And then when you pick this line here, see, it's just kind of offsets that there. Okay, perfect. Uh, then we wanna go to trim and extend to corner, trim it like so. And then here you wanna go to line and you just wanna go from kind of here and go at the 45 degree angle, kind of into the ground, like so. Okay, uh, again, trim and extend to corner here, and you want this to obviously attach to the ground, so extend it up, and then have a line going down to the ground here. Okay, perfect. And then finally, we just wanna fillet these edges, so I'm, I'm just going to go here to fillet uh, arc, set the radius in this case to 200 millimeters and just go like this. Okay, this looks really nice. <laughs> okay, so once we're here, uh, I'm happy with everything, I think. Yeah, everything looks good. So you just hit finish, you go to edit profile, you go to the 3D view here, and then you just find that place and you create a circle that's 20 millimeters in diameter. You hit finish, hit finish again, and you have your railing. Uh, now this railing is definitely not being held in place just down here and up here, so we can kind of fix it here in the middle. So what I'll do is I'll come here to my section, okay, and then let's go to create reference plane and just create a reference plane that's perpendicular to this line, which can come, sometimes be really hard. So that's this line. So it has to be perpendicular like that. So let's, just, let's just place it there and let's name it. So I'm going to call this one the support. Okay, uh, hit, uh, no, not finish model. Okay, so we have that support reference plane. Go to the 3D view. And now in the 3D view, you wanna go to create extrusion and set the work plane to uh, the support. 
click OK. And then you can go to show work plane. So it's just going to show you where that is. And then you can zoom in here, go to pick lines, pick this line, pick this line. OK, uh, then you go to pick lines again, just with an offset of something like, I don't know, like five millimeters. There we go, beautiful. And then you just set this again to zero and pick this line here, okay? Come in here, go with a straight line from the middle to here, so just perpendicular like that. You go to pick lines and set this to 2.5 millimeters now, and you just kind of offset this. You can delete this line now. Uh, you can go to trim and extend to corner, fix this up here, okay, that's, looking oops it's not looking good oh I want it to be straight why isn't it oh these lines are bad okay so let me just delete this okay so let's go like this so just to make sure it's going perpendicular yeah so this is what I want perfect then offset 2.5 perfect uh, delete the line in the middle and then you can use the split element to you can kind of split this here and make a gap and then use trim and extend to corner to kind of fix all of this up perfect hit finish it's going to look like this and then you just kind of extend it a little bit and now we have that middle support holding the whole thing in place and it looks beautiful is it safe no it's not is it beautiful is it elegant is it aesthetic Definitely. If you want to get this project file, you can find that on my Patreon page, which I'm going to link up just below this video in the description, and then also up in the cards above. There you can find all of my Revit project files. Thank you for watching, guys. Make sure to check out my website, balkanarctic.com, for more uh, Revit courses. Uh, there I have over 120 hours of content, uh, and I'm adding more each week. Make sure to subscribe for more videos and also I've added a video over there that might interest you as well.